It's the hardest thing in the world to do, to be mindful, to be present, to be living your life right in the present. I can't do it. It's, uh, there's always the chatter about the past or always the chatter about the future. I think balance, moderation, balance, those words come to mind. You know, you're functioning in the world, you're doing, at the same time you're withdrawn and watching. Is there a spiritual side, number one? Is, does the spirit exist? You see. And if it does, then how does one express it? And what, how does one feed the spirit? You know, um, if it does exist. Not to have fun is never a Buddhist uh, sort of uh, motivation. To have fun is actually the purpose of practicing the Dharma. I mean, the enlightenment is the highest kind form of fun. I think there is a deepening understanding that um, a true spiritual path isn't necessarily going to solve your problems. Maybe it's going to bring up problems which uh, one has up to now managed to outrun and uh, not have to face. They say the teacher is like the finger that points at the moon. So you don't concentrate on the finger, you concentrate on the moon. And what is the moon? The moon is your own mind. And the point of zazen and practice is to know ourselves, to know our own mind. You have your own backgrounds, you have your own upbringing. So in that sense, I think we are coming to another new dimension of the teachings of the Buddha. And Buddha said, at times, the teachings must be flexible so that you can incorporate it. Thank you.